are, tons of arowanas. It's like a giardini right there, big flower horn. Lots of Oscars and blood parrots. And smaller fish for sale on the rack. Looks like Betta's more fish over here. What are these? Dojo loaches? Look at that. Turtles. Pluckos. Lots of bettas. It's crazy. It's another street full. You just go down more, more pet shops, more across the way. I don't know if you could hit them all in a day, honestly. I honestly don't think you could. Like, we're just it's infinite. So here we are. This one features discus. So you can see lots of discus strains. And that's looks like all this shop does. It's different discus. Which is cool. They have a different store. Like, each store focuses on something else. You can see all the pipes going up. Those are all above tank. Uh, yeah, you can see there the above tank sumps, essentially. Yeah, winning lots of awards. Yeah, look at all those discus awards. I wonder if they compete in Singapore. Yeah, it's pretty cool in here. It's pretty much paradise because whatever you're into, like the flower horn store, doesn't matter what you're into, there's a whole store that basically dedicates to whatever you're into. They're also selling the bonsai which is really cool. They have pieces of rock attached to them. And this is something that we'll look at possibly importing. They're not cheap though, they're really expensive. And this store is actually selling live baby brine and that kind of stuff. Wow, look at these. It's just like every variety you could want. It's so crazy. Yeah, and it's all just like a little mini store. Like you could do a little mini tour. Like it's like beef heart paste. That guy. So cool. Wow! Look at that. Look at all those awards. Super cool. All right, we're gonna go find the next one. Super cool. Oh wait, the betas. I guess they do bettas as well as discus. So right here, we're watching them clean the feeder fish. They were uh, basically rinsing them. You can see you rinse them. And there's a lot of many supplies, a lot of the other uh, stores, I guess, that have all the predators. So. You can see they gotta, you know, do that several times. And if you look down here, here's bags that are going to other stores and that type of thing. And there's just, you know, like infinite of them. And those are the stock tanks that they keep them in. But yeah, with all those big arowanas and all those, you know, big carnivores. Make sure we're not gonna get hit by a car as we watch this, but yeah, keep rinsing them. Pretty crazy. Let me zoom back out here. So humid, my back's all sweaty. So here we are, we're on the upper floor. Looks like they're specializing in flower horns and things like that. Oh, koi. Lots of little flower horns. Looks like they have a king mammon parrots. Hmm, clown loach. What is that, like a barbarous? I don't know what that is down there. Or above tank sumps. I so badly want these to catch on in the U.S. Oh, and then there's this guy. Gold marijuana. 
Giardini maybe. Asian arrow. So you can see we're up on the second floor and you can see across the way, like if I zoom in, there's more fish shops. Like you can see the one right there, there's the one to the left, there's another one above it, there's more above that. Like I'm not sure we can get through all these in a day. There's another one over there. Like they're literally floor on floor on floor of fish shops. So more beautiful, beautiful goldfish. Amazing. Wow. Telescope eye or dragon eyes, probably. This is how I plan to do my sump that we're building for the 800 gallon, basically having infinite biomedia, and they've got crushed coral there. Same premises, except I'm going to do an undergravel filter with the crushed coral. Wow, look how big that tail is. The problem is, you guys probably can't tell how big these fish are. Lots of awards. Wow. Wow, that's super cool. Those are neat. Those prints. Such a big haku, big flag tail, and that noise. Oh, well, thank you. I can go back. Thank you. Oh, wow, there's way more back here, too. Big koi. You can see the big sump up above. So cool. Wow, that's cool. Hikari like feeder. Not a feeder, but like you know more goldfish. God, some of these are just huge. Like those are hand size. Lots of biomedia around. Super duper cool. That's the back of that big tank and you so you saw those big fish in it. You can see the, the big sump with infinite biological. There's so much biological down there. So cool. Thank you. Now was a store that didn't want me to film, but they had lots of shrimp, shrimp union. So yeah, not I would say about 50-50 will let you film or take pictures or not. So now we're going to go down a bunch of stairs and get down to the main floor and go look at more stuff. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. All right, so here we are at Green Concepts. And you can see up above, there's like a really cool tank wall up there. And it's kind of an ADA type store with some amazing displays. And uh, it's getting ready to rain, so they're putting that mat down. And you can see here they've got like the uh, the bonsai trees, which I don't know if you guys have seen yet in the video, but you know, they're pretty cool. They're really expensive, but they're cool. And you can see this giant, let's hang them back up here. This, this tank, and I did, just in case you're seeing that, I did get the okay to take pictures and video. So look at all that dragon stone that's been put together. Wow. <laughs> I asked. Oh, I know. Yeah. Out on the street. Oh, and the panda loaches. <laughs> Interesting. You see what they're doing? They're doing radiant Showing. heating. I th oh, or basically, they're running the water line through it to keep the temperature either hot enough or cold enough. 
through those too. It's like radiant floor heating almost. That's amazing. That's smart. Smart what they're doing. Huh. Did you enjoy the video? Well then hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you don't miss any more cool stuff. We travel the world and bring you the coolest stuff we can find every single week. You don't want to miss out.